I was absolutely delighted by the dolls. They came as a huge surprise. I thought it was such a cunning and clever idea because to try and imagine something that is connected to Russia and something as simple as the Russian doll. But to be a part of that, I'm extremely proud to fit inside Elton. And <laughs> <laughs> I've got Graham fitting inside me and so on. I think it's charming and witty. And, and I think very often in the face of oppression and tyranny that makes your blood boil, the, uh, the best response is, is to try and keep your temper and um, use reason and warmth and wit rather than um, being, you know, flying off the handle and going crazy. There is no gay person I know who wants to make someone else gay, but there are a lot of homophobic people I know who want to make other people homophobic. There's something slightly sick and wrong with people who are obsessed with trying to suppress the rights and the freedoms and happiness of LGBT people. That they're not freaks and that anybody who makes them feel like a freak is themselves a freak. I think the Russian government, I think Putin in particular, I think he made a calculation that in order to retain his power base after the farcical nonsense of himself being leader and then president and then leader again, and using gay people as a scapegoat is a, an act of populism. Whether Sochi is a, is a disaster because the infrastructure doesn't work and there are all kinds of embarrassments or not, is not really relevant. Uh, the attention of the world is on Russia at the moment, and in particular this aspect of, of the social policy towards LGBT people. It's uh, down to individual Russian people showing strength and defiance in the face of opposition, which is horrible and difficult. I'm not saying it won't involve a lot of beatings up, a lot of real threats, or a lot of institutionalized homophobia, but the fact that the world's attention has been turned will mean people will come up with new ideas to keep the rest of the world focused. A chess master once told me, he said, the best chess move to play is not the best chess move, it's the move your opponent least wants you to play. So don't always think about what's the right thing to do. Think about what's the thing that would most annoy Putin. Any injustice, any savage, recordable injustice should be sent around the world for the world to see. I think it should basically become a question that Putin is so annoyed and bored by this being the issue that he um, he lets up on it. He tells the police, that, look, give, give me equal rights if someone's, if a... Meanwhile, I can do nothing but admire the courage of all of you who, who are able to gather and to stand up for who you are. When I was growing up, it was illegal. Now we can get married, so things do change.